There have been quite a few stories and pictures coming out of the C2E2 event this week where a few of wrestling's biggest names were there to do meet and greets. One of the major stories was Sasha Banks not allowing fans to get near her during the paid photo shoot opportunities. What do you think of Sasha Banks' distance policy? And what do you think of photo ops in general? So I'm going to kind of work through this as we go, because I try to write notes, but I'm on both sides of the fence. I can, I can make an argument for both sides. I can make an argument for Sasha Banks and I can make an argument against Sasha Banks. <clears throat> One thing I want to do is lay out basically the specifics of what I believe to be true before I make an opinion. So I believe that people were told they needed to stay six feet away from Sasha Banks when it was their turn to take a photo with her. And I believe that those photos costed $90. I do believe that if you wanted a photo with Sasha Banks and Naomi, you paid $130 and there was still a six foot rule. These are just facts. These are facts that I've pulled up that I've got through Twitter, got through different websites. I do believe that Naomi had no issue with people getting close to her. So, so Naomi did not have the six foot rule. And I do believe that Sasha Banks relaxed her rule a little bit for certain people, which is interesting. So with all those facts, I think there's blame to go all around when it comes to photo shoots and photo events and photo opportunities. There's a lot of creepy fucking people, especially guys. There's a lot of creepy guys in this world. And I've seen my fair share of Twitter pictures where fans are basically groping celebrities. They, they've gotten way too close. And there's a social contract. People have a social responsibility to not be complete asshats, yet they break that all the time. Given the opportunity, they, they invade a person's personal space and they just, like, I paid $90, you, you fucking belong to me. And the problem is there's nuances to that, right? It's a transactional exchange. I'm paying $90 for access to you. I'm paying $90 for a photo with you. And I, I think that here's the thing. I think rules are necessary. You have to have rules. I'm a hundred percent on board with a no touching policy. Don't touch. Keep your fucking hands to yourself. You don't need to put your arm around any female or male celebrity that you are not in a direct relationship with. You do not know that person. Keep, keep your fucking hand to yourself. Especially if you're over the age of 13, you don't need to touch them. Kids may want to get a hug. I get it. These are the superheroes to them. You're a grown man. You're a grown woman. Keep your hands to yourself. I feel the same way about adults who go to Disneyland. I like Disneyland, but I don't need to hug Elsa. I don't even need to fucking meet Elsa. That, that's for kids. I can see Elsa with my eyes and, and, and that's enough I needed to see. There's never a reason ever to grab or touch another un person that you're not in a relationship with. Or, or that is not a direct member of your family. You don't need to touch them. Now, I do understand, 100%, if I just paid $90 of my hard-earned money, I worked my real last job, and I come to see you, and you tell me I need to stand six feet away for my photo op, that's ridiculous. That's bullshit. This, I mean, that's the exact opposite extreme of being an ass hat for touching someone is saying you need to stay six feet away. You need to pay me $90 to take a photo with me, but then you need to stay six feet away at $90 a photo. I saw the amount of people over there. Sasha Banks can hire an, a security guard to stand next to her in case anybody breaks that rule. In case somebody gets too touchy, that security guard should step in and give a nice little reminder and remove that person from the space as to why there are rules and why you don't break the rules. I'm completely okay with that. You break the rule, you, you pay the price. You get punished. I, I have to believe that at least... When you go to enter your credit card information, you're going to pay for this $90 Sasha Banks experience, which is probably $90 on top of, I don't know what it costs to get into this event, but I guarantee you the tickets weren't free just to get in the door. I've been to these things. It costs money. You're not leaving there spending less than $250. So if when I put my credit card information in, there's not a giant warning that pops up that says, hey, when you buy this Sasha Banks experience, you need to be six feet away. If that doesn't exist, I have a problem. You deserve your money back. If you didn't see that, if you're showing up to the event and you're just finding out, that's weird. 
it, it's a weird give and take of being celebrity. And I think the problem is at a certain point, Sasha Banks has probably had to go through too many bad encounters. There's too many creepy fucks who have broken that rule. And the easiest solution for Sasha Banks was six feet. And I even think that Sasha Banks was playing the game of, I look at the next person in line. Oh, they're cool. They can get a little closer. That person, they feel like a six footer. I feel like that's the game she's playing. Look, firemen get burned. Policemen get shot. People in the military get shot. Every job has risk. Every job has risk. Being a celebrity does put you in some awkward situations. You should never get touched inappropriately. I don't believe that's even should be on the table. But on the flip side, you also shouldn't get scammed into taking a $90 photo from six feet away. There, there's a middle ground. I saw CM Punk was hugging people. You don't have to hug people, but that's how he chose to play that event. And he's kind of a germy phobe guy, and he was okay with it. I saw Naomi get close up with fans. I don't know that she was touching, but she was standing next to them. The problem is I think that a few bad apples ruin the experience for everybody. And Sasha's probably, her level of fame, I believe, is even bigger than CM Punk on, I believe that women celebrities get a little more of a fanatical following than men. Men, like, we all like CM Punk and we're like, hey man, what's up? We'll dap him up and say what's up. There's a lot of creepy fucks who like, when they get the opportunity to get next to Sasha Banks, they're trying to feel something. And that's weird. I don't fucking get it. But I, I mean, just the truth is just like, I don't know. It, it, it feels icky all the way around. It does feel like a no touching policy. Photo ops are weird. They, they really are because we idolize people and I've done it in my twenties. I went to WrestleMania and took photos with people. Now that I'm 30, you know, 37 years old, I have no desire to take a photo with someone, but it's, it's, you know, to each their own on who wants to take a photo, who wants to get an autograph. The, the simple thing is just keep your fucking hands to yourself. You don't need to be touching people. You don't have you like you don't have to be gross. And, and as far as Sasha Banks goes, like if maybe if you don't like if you don't like this, don't do it. Just don't do photo shoots. And I get like right now you're in a weird position because you left WWE, but that may be the way you make your money now. It is it, doing that. So I don't know. I, I'm glad. You know, I sometimes I'm just glad that I'm a dude and I don't have to worry about that kind of shit. But uh, yeah, photo shoots in general, they're just, they're just weird fucking situations. That is it for today, though. This has been another episode of the CWC Wrestling Podcast. Next week, Lauren will be back, and I won't have to do this all by myself. It was a little more difficult doing it like that. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself, but that's okay. Make sure to tune in every week on either YouTube or Spotify. Please leave me a comment on this episode and tell me how good I did by myself. Also, make sure to follow us on TikTok if you don't already. Just search for The Notorious Nerdy D. I am going to be posting in the next couple of days a pilot episode of a wrestling game show that we're attempting to do. It's, it's a pilot. Be, be easy on us. It's not a finished product, but I do want feedback. I want you guys to tell me what you like, what you don't like about it. Let me know so we can kind of craft it and make it into something. And I want you guys to participate. I want people to come on. Uh, there's going to be the ability to come on the game show. So we're working it out. We'll workshop it all together. So I want you guys to check out that video and let me know what you think. As always, I am the Notorious Nerdy D. Level of Born will be next, uh, back next week, but I'm going to ring the final bell for Woo!